Hello everyone, thank you for coming back to another Cash Check of Credit with Kira. Kira, I'm bringing to you an oldie but a goodie. This is a roller-free Bantu Knot Crochet. Stay tuned. I did not like the results, but we're just going to roll with it. So here are the hair packets that I use. One is Zuri the Mali braid hair. I got it in a golden color. It's the Mali Twist OMB4. 27613 is what that one was. That was only like $4.99, I believe, at my local hair store. The only other pack of hair I used was this three bundle hair in the number four by uh, African Collection. It's a Jamaican twist pre stretched hair. And yeah, that's all I used. Both of those packs of hair are a hot water set. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned. Let's see what I got into. How did I make this work? You know what I really liked about both packs of hair? It came pre-separated already, so that made the crocheting process so much easier. For those of you who know me, you know that I'm in the process of learning how to braid. So this was the pattern that I did for myself to tuck away my own hair and kind of have it as a protective style for a while. Uh, and this is actually like day three washed and worn hair. So now let's start the crocheting process. I like to start in the very back and work my way up and I did one to two knots in the back. Since these packs of hair are coarser types of hair and I needed to separate them further for the front of my hair, I did use a leave-in conditioner by Shea Moisture. You can leave in or rinse it out. And I'll have to say I did not like the smell of this conditioner. All right, so for your knotless crochet, you're gonna take your crochet needle, make sure it's going upward, and you're gonna loop your hair through, close that latch, pull and you're going to leave that hole right there you're going to leave that opening because you're going to pull in just one side of your hair one side of those two pieces of hair is going to come through the hole then you twist the loop and then you're going to pull hair through there one more time that same piece of hair that you pulled through then you're going to pull that knot all the way down then that other piece of hair because remember there were two pieces that other half you're just going to flap that right over and that is going to conceal that knot underneath as you can see this is way too much hair but i feel like shaka i'm every woman okay let's get down to business
y'all i had to rebantu knot this hair redip it and then of course you have to let the bantu knots fully dry before you take them out so the remainder of this video is after me taking out the bantu knots and going forward trying to salvage this style make sure you drop down in the comments below and let me know what you think was this an epic fail or just something that is doable what do you think <laughs> I look forward to reading your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click your notification bell so you never, ever, ever miss an upload when you join this team. Thank you.